gonna show you how to do the ECG P2 Joshua One Systems board with some pixels. So basically, you've got your ECG P2. You got your power supply from DIY, LED Express, or Raywoo, or wherever you got it from, and you got some pixels. And I don't want to talk over anybody's head, so we'll show you the difference between regular RGB dumb nodes, I guess, and pixels. These have the little chip in it. Can you see that? On the inside of it. You got that little chip in there that lets you control each individual bulb instead of having to control the whole strand as one color or switching between colors. It'll let you control each single bulb. So right out the gate, you're going to get your strand of lights, power supply, your controller, and here's what you do with it. To begin with, when you get this from Ed over at J1Sys, it's going to come in the little case. If you ordered it with the case, I like the case. You don't have to get it. It's up to you. You're going to need to pull off all these little things off the outside of it, just these little plugs. And then you're going to need to unscrew it. He provides little jumpers for you and a little Allen wrench. So you take her apart. And this one, I just got two in here just to hold it for now to show you. What you're going to want to do is make sure you get all those off. There's actually three of them. Once you've got those off, take it from the back and push. And the whole thing will come out. And there's your board. It's a tiny little board. Now you'll see here's a bunch of little settings for where the jumpers go. Different little places you can put them. Uh, I've got a PDF on where they go. I think it's available on j one Sis's website as well. I'm going to break it down the different configurations you can put them in. Shows you where each one of them goes, what they need to do. For our general purposes right now, all we need is five volt supply going into the board just to control the power on the board. So the only jumper that I've got really going on this thing that matters is that one right up there at the top. That one there. That's just five. Once you've got that one on there, then we can go ahead and put it back together. You just slide it back in here. Just like so. And then put your screws back in it. And you may not get this case, but I think it's an extra five, six dollars. I don't know. I like the case myself. It makes it easier to mount inside of an enclosure when you get it out in the yard. And it just keeps the board separate from anything else. So you're not touching it with anything. Shorting stuff out. We'll just tighten these back down. Alright, your jumper's set up. And there's different ways to set up that jumper. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description for a download link to my Dropbox. But uh, you can set it up to where it gets, you know, 7 to... 40 volts in and the board regulates it down to 5 or you could just give it 5 volts to begin with. That's the way I got this jumper set is we're going to put 5 volts into it. So we'll go ahead and do that to start with. And what I did is just the positive and negative. Just got two little wires, hooked them up and it says right here on the outside of the case, positive, negative. So we'll just take the positive side. Get up to our power supply. Now, before we do anything with the power supply, when you get it in, it's going to say on it 230, I guarantee you, and it's going to be switched 230. So, you want to switch it over to 215 or 115. And then it's not going to come with a power cord. These power cords are just PC power supply power cords. I got them for like a dollar at a local PC repair shop. You probably order them off a of mono price, pretty cheap too. Just snip the end off of it, strip it back, put it in where it needs to go. And you're all set and ready to go. We'll go ahead and hook this up. Positive will go over here to positive. Grab some screwdriver. Negative will go to negative. CGP2. Now, we're going to power the pixels off this same power supply as well. When I put this in my, my show, and I'll post a picture of it in the video, 
but I just had it attached right there and mounted the whole thing inside of the enclosure. That way everything was just right there together. So I'm going to go ahead and get the pixels set up. Now, the pixels, these actually did come from DIY LED Express. If you get them from Rayro, the colors may not be the same. But basically, the rule of thumb that I looked at is the chips on this side of the board, the input needs to come on this side of the board, or the chip's not. That's your direction of flow. If you're using strips, they'll have an arrow on them. It'll show you a point and arrow, tell you in which directions to go. But on this one, it's just the side without the chip on it is your input. Chip on it, that's output to the next one. So, we could have them directly up here, but I'm gonna put these up. And I'm just going to hook them up real quick with, well, I had some SVT wire sitting here somewhere. There we go. We'll use this. We're just going to hook this up with SVT wire just for, just for now. Just warn I had one of those with the ends already on it. Looks like I know I did. Hold on just a second. Is just on side number one. Just plug it right up. And it's marked on here. You got your ground and you got your C and your D and your V. For this one, all we need is the data. So all you're going to need is ground and data if you're using 2811 pixels. So ground, data. That's it. So we'll take this wire. Got the data coming out of the ECGP2 out of the D. Strip this back. And we'll hook it into the data on the pixel strand. Find a size that'll fit. That'll work. On these particular pixels, the blue's the ground, red's the uh, power whites their data. So let's pick up the white. And usually in my show, I solder all these, but these are going right back in storage as soon as I show y'all how to do this. So we're not going to worry about it. Just go ahead and temporarily put them on there. Alright. Alright, so there's our data wire. So that's done. That's literally all you have to do to get data from this and your pixels. It's just that one wire. So now you got to get power to it. This is as simple as positive and negative. And we'll just use some more extra SVT wire. And we'll hook up positive and negative. Some guys use uh, that four core wire. Some guys use Cat5. Some guys use SBT. I say use what you got. I'll order plenty of what you're gonna need. I used SBT and I used Cat5 on my display. I ran five of the ECGP2s and didn't have a problem with a single one of them. So, you know, use what you got available is what I say. side up to the positive. And we're going to go over here and hook up the negative to the negative. And we're also going to go 
I'll take this negative out of control and hook it up right here. And that's the negative coming out of this side right here, over here. I don't know if you have to do that or not, but I did it on my own line this year. It worked just fine. Alright, so there's our controller wired up to the power supply. Power going over to pixels now. And that will move our pixels. So everything's wired up. So we're good to go. So that's all of that. That's the entire hard connections on that end. Now we gotta hook it up to the computer. You can hook this thing up directly, or you can hook it to a switch. I hooked my line through a switch because that's how you do more than one. switch and then out of the switch go to your first pixel controller. So that one out in the yard and that one's gonna go to number one. If you've got another one of these pixel controllers you just get you another cat5 cable, run it out of here, and go out to the next one. And so on and keep adding on however many you need. This is just a little five port switch so you can do four of the little controllers off this one switch. So that's all there is to it. So let's power it up. I just got a little test sequence. And I'll show y'all how to do the entire sequence here in a part two video. I'll show you how to do it on the actual computer. This is just for the hardware. But here's this little test sequence. And we'll hit play. And we did everything right. We should have lots. That's it. Alright, if you got any questions, post them in the video and I'll try to answer them. Thanks.